Back more to Josh City's TGW in my Fallout 4 modded gameplay. We are here today to, well, grab stuff from the Overseer. So, we're not going the front way because that leads to pain and suffering. I also have the key to the back door, so we'll just walk right in. <laughs> I mean, why go through all the dangerous chemicals and hallucinogen? Yeah. You don't really want to go through the front doors. You really don't. Why? Because, well, it's full of nasty chemicals that drive you insane like the Joker. But if you're tuning back in and have not seen my previous Fallout videos, please give them a like and subscribe and comment on them. Please, I need more viewers. Just kidding, you can all do your own thing. Okay, so we're just going to grab stuff from this crate. Now, I am going to grab one more thing while I'm here. Some uh, unbroken uh, canisters. Because good old Fred Allen will need them in Good Neighbor. Granted, it is probably very cheap for me to just, you know, go in through the back door instead of the front door. But you got to understand, this place is full of deadly things you don't really want to mess with. So, you know, I'm just going to um, disarm that laser tripwire going to get rid of their commander and take their key. The chemical has been detected. No, really? I thought this place was perfect. And now I'm just going to leave the building. Perfect. Clean getaway. Now, all I have to do is fast travel back to Vault 88 and begin the experiment. Easy! Now, normally, if you're not modding the game, you would have had to go through the front door, dealt with everything inside, including all the dangerous gases and security, and just that would have taken, like, 30 to 40 minutes, depending on how quick you are to, you know, survive. It's a beautiful afternoon where I'm at. Granted, it's harder than Hades, but can't really avoid that. Unlimited power! Death to the mouse! Let's begin our experimentation on our lovely, um, people. Right. So, now, I just go back to Vault 88. To the Overseer. There's 13 people living there now. Sweet. And of course, we have the loading screens of when I'm fast traveling back. But that's alright. No, really, stim packs can be used to revive people. I had no idea. I mean, honestly, some would say having a modded game is cheating. I would say it just helps make life a little bit easier for me my settlers who wants to sit around you know going out through every building and destroying aluminum cans cloth and leather and all that stuff just to build one thing you don't say over here I have those chemical formulas for you marvelous now we can reform another societal picadillo. The hydration break. Whether it rears its head around the coffee pot, water cooler, or soda fountain, it's a menace. vault scientists have conducted experiment after experiment to eliminate this inefficiency. But people feel an irrational need to socialize. So if they must squander their time, let us turn it into the collective good with chemistry. Honestly. Aren't chemicals bad for you? Oh, Clem, you worry so much, my boy. Everything you eat and drink is made of chemicals, don't you know? Oh, right. That's very interesting, Lady Overseer. These are just special <laughs> chemicals. You know, the Overseer is very sadistic. 
But it's okay. You can trust us, Clem. Maintaining Clem's trust isn't the focus of these experiments. Our collective welfare is. So build the soda fountain, and then serve refreshments to our residents. And Clem, if you get thirsty on the job, feel free to have a cool, refreshing beverage. Gee, thanks. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, God, I love the village idiot who just doesn't question what we're up to. I feel kind of bad I'm doing this to everyone, but it's for the greater good. I mean, who doesn't love soda? Who doesn't love any of these experiments? Soda fountain prototype, let's go. Um, I'm gonna just gonna... Oh, perfect. I had this set up just right. Gonna hook you up to the terminal. Perfect. Now I'm gonna have this connect to the machine. Perfect. Now that the prototype. Let's see. R and D notes. First, I'm going to find jobs for the unemployed because why not? Uh, defense. Let's have one for that. Okay. Oops. <laughs> that sometimes happens. So accidentally back out of your experiments, everyone. Okay, let's go to Soda Fountain Experiment. Create a Vault Tech, Confidential, Soda Fountain Prototype. So Appetite Suppressant. Let's see. If you guys feel like pausing, you can read all that. Basically means that it makes people have less of an appetite and more productivity. I'm not doing that. Normally I would, but nope. Let's do mood enhancer. Let's read those. So once again, you can pause to read all those. Honestly, yeah. So just pause and read that. Yeah, drugged water, drug soda. We're not doing that one either. You could, it'd be horrible. Generic caffeination. Basically, this is just regular soda. God, I hate Ted. I love that little note. See, Voltic doesn't care about people, but I do. So let's accept the parameters and serve generic soda, which they actually tested against Nuka Cola. You know, everyone's favorite pre war drink, because it's literally everywhere. Okay, I will sit in the uh, food booth and just wait f for an hour. One hour. There you go, it's now 8 o'clock at night. That's yeah, a soda fountain jerk. Actually, I'm going to wait till day so that the event doesn't, you know, break. So, if this video is a little bit longer than expected, sorry. Let's wait a full 12 hours. That should be more than enough time. Fortunately, I do have to remove the um, experimental um, soda fountain machine out just for now until all the experiments are done because otherwise Clem buddy here will try to man it after the experiment is long over and we need him for the other two after this. There you go, it's now 8 o'clock in the morning. And that should help. The soda fountain's open. Want to be the first customer? Depends. Yeah. How much does it cost? Oh, it's hey, really. Fun. You here to check out? Well, I got a customer. I guess then. Want some more refreshment? Mm, what the heck's in there? I had a Nuka Cola once. 
Callisto. I know, right? It's got special chemicals in it. No shit. <coughs> well, whatever it is, call me a fan. Well, they love my soda. Yeah, I really could care less, though, about the um, people's happiness, but it's nice for them to be happy. Okay, that is the end of this experiment. I'll be running the next one in a later episode. This has been Darth Sidious DGW. Sorry for the long run time and unlimited power. Death to the mouse. Like and subscribe and tell all your friends.